name is Zachary Suplu, uh, and I'm an artist and sculptor based in Glasgow, but I'm originally from Dewsbury, West Yorkshire. Well, I came to Batley School of Art when I was a fresh-faced 18-year-old, fresh out of school. Uh, I always knew I wanted to do art, I just didn't really know what kind of art I wanted to make. Uh, so I went on the uh, Art Design Foundation course uh, at Batley. And while I was there, I kind of discovered I was very good at making things with clay, so I did ceramics. And it really kind of instigated the foundations of my kind of career, I suppose. Well, I uh, went from uh, Back Bay to Edinburgh College of Art. Uh, again, I studied ceramics there and I uh, had a great time. And uh, there I started to play with some digital technology, media modeling processes, things like that. And I then came back to Dewsbury to work as a ceramics technician, woodwork technician within the college and spent a few years uh, back here uh, working with the students. Uh, and then I decided to go do a master's degree at the World College of Art in London. And again, I studied ceramics, but I was one of those students that went into kind of every department and tried all sorts of things out from bronze casting, 3D printing, CNC milling, I did all sorts. So after leaving uh, college, after leaving my master's degree, I set up a studio uh, with a lot of my friends and I suppose I uh, tried to forge a career uh, in making things and exhibiting. Uh, but I've also kind of at the same time tried to make uh, a lot of public art. Uh, those kind of projects really feed into my, my practice. So I work in a kind of gallery exhibiting uh, side of things, but also kind of public art commissions as well. Yeah, I mean, I don't live in Dewsbury anymore, but uh, I'm from Dewsbury, uh, born in Dewsbury, grew up in Dewsbury. Uh, it's a very important town to me, you know? Uh, so when this opportunity came up, I jumped at the chance because I really wanted this project. I wanted to put a piece of public art in Dewsbury. So I work with uh, classical mythology quite a lot. I can source uh, 3D scans or take 3D scans of classical sculptures uh, and then use digital processes to distort those sculptures in various ways. And this is a process that I'm looking at for the Public Art Project at Dewsbury. It's still kind of an ongoing process. Um, but I use classical mythology because the characters uh, within the myth mythological stories have their own kind of uh, reasons for being. So one of the goddesses uh, that I'm looking at is Hestia, who's the goddess of community. Uh, and I'm distorting her using images of Dewsbury itself. So it's really about a sense of community and embedding kind of Dewsbury within the sculpture. Gosh, <laughs> that's a big question. Um, I think one of the main things is staying at it, keep on, keeping on, you know, uh, and learn as much as possible. Uh, from my experience, uh, take educational institutions for every bit of information and knowledge you can. That's what they're there for. So really kind of learn as much as possible, uh, uh, whether that is uh, making things by hand, uh, printing, digital technology, all these things, they all kind of feed into a creative process. But the main thing is keep your head up, keep going. <laughs>